And I said, Hey, I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. And the girl looks at me and she goes, I'm not okay. I don't know where my friends are. They all have left me. I'm here by myself. And I don't know who this man is. Hey, everyone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Like the Queen. How fun and exciting. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. I'm just getting it out there now. I'm sweaty because I just finished working out. I'm so sorry. The fitness guru now, guys. So I'm trying really hard. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I support it. It's more than I'm doing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell them what you're doing because you're in a hotel room. I am in a hotel room. This isn't my usual apartment that you guys have been seeing for the past five months. Um, so I had to go back to Florida to go get my car because I'm going back up to New York, the same place I was already in, but I needed my car and my parents couldn't get my car up to me by the time I needed it. So I was like, fine, I'll just fly home and then I'll drive up the next day. So I landed in Florida at 11:35 PM. And then at 6 30 AM this morning, I hit the road and now I'm in Pennsylvania it's truly so much the hotel's nice and it's right across from like these outlets like a shopping mall outlet and I don't think they'll be open by the time I leave here tomorrow but it would be nice if they were yeah and you can go shopping (laughs) go shopping that'd be nice yeah well what else have you what else have you been doing this week because I have not been able to talk to you life has been so crazy so I actually tested positive for COVID and finally (laughs) I know I was so upset about it because it's really so lame of me to get it now Um, I have lasted so long without getting COVID and I survived on Memorial Day so (laughs) America um I guess that's not what Memorial Day is for yes it is it's to celebrate our veterans so go America. <laughs> anyway, so I was in quarantine. <laughs> I'm just going to skip over that. Call. We're going to act like that never happened. <laughs> I did some positive on Memorial Day. And then our last week of tour, that was our last week, got canceled because uh, we had no actors because the other female in our cast tested positive as well. So our last tour, our last week of tour got canceled and I was quarantined in my apartment in New York for the five days and I had to change my flight that's why I'm like still on the like yeah everything was so rushed because my flight was supposed to be for like Friday night and I had to move it to Sunday so it was all a bunch of craziness but now that contract's over and my new contract starts this week so that's good about it yeah that's good that's literally all I've been doing I tested positive for COVID so nothing exciting has happened this week Except that is me. really unfortunate. Oh, actually, I just lied about that. Something exciting did happen this week, and it was Disney Plus releasing Glee. <laughs> <laughs> I was so invested until you said Disney Plus. <laughs> um, that was a genius move, especially during my first day of quarantine. They couldn't have timed it out better. So, so did you start in the beginning say. again? Have you been watching the first seasons? Yes. Oh, I'm already almost done with season two. I'm on season two. Oh my god! <laughs> Episode like you watched right through now. like season four or something. You watched until season four? Yeah, I think. Yeah. It. Yep. That's about where most people stop. <laughs> <laughs> it just became a little like repetitive and boring to me. But again, like yeah. I love Glee. I was a big fan. But also the reason I binged it so much. I don't know if I ever told you this, like the story of like how I got into Glee. So mm-hmm. in seventh grade. I had a tumor in my foot. <laughs> I'm oh, aware. <laughs> okay, yes. It's like one of my quirky fun facts. Oops, I had a tumor. <laughs> and so when I had my surgery, I couldn't walk. I couldn't go to school or anything for a week. And so I just laid up in bed and my mom bought a couple seasons of Glee for me to watch on DVD. And that's, that's what I did. Your mom is literally so smart. 
if my mom bought me queen cities, I'd be like, yes, crazy. I'll do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And her and I both laid in bed watching Glee. <laughs> Amazing. As you yeah. said. I think that's so funny though. Do you ever like look at the episodes now and be like, that's kind of questionable? <laughs> Uh, like going back yes. and rewatching them yeah I have a spreadsheet for all the episodes and I like go back and I'm like oh my god she's a business gal I am a business gal if anybody wants to know any <laughs> single thing about Glee I know I know you have a spreadsheet efforts. and I have a spreadsheet that of is all the iconic so funny all the songs ever sung on Glee I have it you have it <laughs> it's <laughs> down yeah I'm crazy like that <laughs> Victoria no you're the reason like Wikipedia exists <laughs> people like you it's true. <laughs> yeah that's amazing I have a little update for you it's a good okay. update my okay. six foot six blue-eyed yes businessman from Maine has been talking to me every single day oh my gosh and I don't mean just like texting me. Like, I mean, he's called me multiple times. He's FaceTimed me. He's oh sending gosh. me. I know he's sending me one of his books he wrote in the mail. Whoa, he writes For books? Me. That's pretty. Yeah, he's, pub- he's published four books. Wow. Did yeah, you say, I me- want to publish a book? <laughs> yeah, I did. I showed him my bucket list and like, he knows. But he's so smart and brilliant. That yeah. like whenever he talks, I just go, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's really, yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh! No, that's actually such a good update. No, it it is. Stay He's... away from texting and start like calling each other. I'm like, that's no. He <laughs> he called me the one day. I was like, he was driving to the coast of Maine to have a uh, dinner with a friend. And he uh, called me over and over again, like while he was driving, cause it was like a little bit of a drive and like the service kept going in and out. But every time I'd go out, he'd call me again. He called me when he got home and talked to me for like an hour. Um, he tried calling me earlier today, but I was with my cousins and I was like, I'll call you later. So after this, I'm going to call him. But okay. also he's an Android user, which I hate. That's like his only red flag. Yeah. Um, yeah, but he's but because he has an Android, he sent me a Zoom meeting, and that was like our FaceTime was a Zoom meeting. <laughs> that's, that's like effort, though. You know, I, that's funny, but it says that he yeah. like wants to see your face, so <laughs> that's good. I know it's really sweet, and <laughs> like I, he watches all my stuff on Instagram and like likes my posts. And like he doesn't follow me, so like I followed him. He's like, hey, maybe he can like call me back. He hasn't called me back, but he still like comments on all my things. I mean, at least he's adding numbers to the likes and comments, I guess. That's that's true. No, he's he's really sweet, and I love his communication with him. Living literally the tip of the coast. I was about to say that is up there. That's like green flag the all of that covers up the fact that he has an android you know what I mean <laughs> like I forgot I know, about I think that I can look and past this. <laughs> we can look past the android yeah no absolutely yeah he was texting me earlier about some like crazy like I think he's starting like another business thing today or like they're doing something another business and he was texting me about it and I'm like I literally have no idea what this means so I'm gonna call him and find out what this means <laughs> yeah <laughs> I understand I'm like wow that's so cool I can't wait to learn more that's what I said <laughs> I have to learn because I don't know <laughs> exactly exactly that's yeah. so cute that was a wonderful update thank you <laughs> thank you I and I it. did go out and partied in Charlotte Saturday night yes I saw everything I saw the TikTok the little video with the sunglasses wasn't was it fun, fun that was a fun idea I loved it thank you, <laughs> thank you. how thank was you. that it was good um it's kind of hard going from like Miami back to this like I've never gone I've, I've gone to a gay club in Charlotte before but that's the only like any kind of thing I've done in Charlotte was yeah. go and see drag queens and party with my LGBTQ fam. And yeah. so this was my first time like at a, 
uh, like a uh, more what's the word gross grimy nightclub <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and it was gross they were gross and grimy um they were fun people don't get down like they do in Miami which is yeah. unfortunate here but like my my friend Natalie danced with me the whole time I do have a crazy story to tell you though that happened that night okay yeah so where we were um were popular bars that are all right next to each other okay. and uh we bar hopped out all of them like throughout the night and the third one took our pepper spray and like our taste years and all from our purse and so by the end of the night we needed to go back and get it before we left and so um we were over at the first bar Gabrielle they were outside we're like you guys wait here call an Uber we're gonna go pick up the pepper spray from the other club so Natalie and I walked out the pepper spray we're starting to walk back to our friends at the other bar and I see this man with a giant snake around his neck a snake and this street, this street is filled with hundreds of people at this point because of like, these are the most popular clubs in Charlotte. Right. And it's almost 2 a.m. and everyone's calling and there's cars everywhere, there's people everywhere. And there was this girl barely able to walk standing with him. And uh-huh. like something, something in me just like was like ringing my bell. Like, this is not good. Like, this is a red flag. Right. And so... I didn't want to be around a man with a snake, but I stopped and I said, Hey, I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. And the girl looks at me and she goes, I'm not okay. I don't know where my friends are. They all have left me. I'm here by myself. And I don't know who this man is. And she was like, like literally like could barely walk. And I grabbed her hand and I said, it's okay. Like, you're going to come with me and I'm going to help you get home. And the guy with the snake turned at me and said, no, she's okay. I'm going to take care of her. And I looked at that man in the face and I said, no, she's okay. I'm going to take care of her. Yeah. And like, <laughs> he, he was, he had one on me. He had a, he had a weapon, a live weapon. <laughs> yeah. <at me. laughs> I was not gonna lie terrified but I grabbed that girl and like me and my friend and her like we got her out of there away yeah. from that scary man and I said can we like do you know your address can we get you an uber and so I had her phone put in her address called an uber for her I was on the phone with the uber guy trying to find where he was it was, it was so loud we could barely hear each other found her uber put her inside this stranger yeah. and I, and I was like, Hey, listen, I don't know who this girl is. And I said, but I want you to promise me that you're going to make sure she gets home safely. And he's like, okay, I promise. I promise. I said, no, 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 no. Look, I'm going to take a picture of your license plate and I'm going to remember your face. So if anything ever happens, it's going to come back on you. <laughs> I, <laughs> period and he's like okay like I got you he's like she's gonna be fine and so like I did and there hasn't been anything on the news about a girl being murdered from uber or yeah. missing in charlotte so like I think she's okay I hope she's okay yeah but it was crazy that is wild first of all her friend's sake I know <laughs> why are you gonna leave your friend who's very much cannot walk yeah she could not walk like by herself like how are you gonna do that Mm-hmm. Second of all, that man with the snake around his neck. <laughs> Him in general, like what? What are you doing with a snake around your neck? Red flags. Red flags. <laughs> that is a red flag. If I ever see a man with a snake around, his neck, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't like a little like tiny. Like it was a thick boy. Like he had been eating good. <laughs> That's so random. That was so completely random. But also, like, was he? Was he allowed in the clubs with a snake car around his neck? I don't know. They took away your pepper spray. So I'm like, how are they going to let in a snake? <laughs> yeah, they took away my pepper spray, but they let a man come in with a snake? What the heck? <laughs> I'm yeah. curious now. <laughs> Something's not adding up. Something's, Something's not adding up about here. that. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to write them a letter. <laughs> I saw that you let a snake in the building. (laughs) (laughs) You took my pepper spray. This is exactly why I need pepper spray. What if it attacked me? (laughs) Quite literally. Literally. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, that's something to think about. <laughs> yeah, it is something to think about. Mm. That is wild, though, that that I happened. Know. But I know. And I did see that's people I know. <laughs> what? I said I did see people I know at the bar. Oh. <laughs> was, the huge. There was a girl <laughs> who I went to high school with. She's like, oh, listen, I'm like, Hannah. And I was like, don't listen to anything I'm saying. I'm like, I'm really drunk right now. <laughs> like those few hours of my life hanging out with her because she hung out with me and my friends. I don't remember what we talked about. <laughs> and that's the best way to go out, really. <laughs> I could have told this girl from high school so many secrets, so many things. So... <laughs> and I am sure I did. <laughs> yeah, I have been there. I have been there. But Victoria, for the first time, I didn't kiss someone. That is crazy. But also you saw a guy with a snake around his neck. That is true. So. You win some, <laughs> you lose some. Lose some. <laughs> <laughs> but oh I do have God. to say, I did not. We went to like the busiest part in Charlotte and I was not impressed with the guys there. Mm. Do you I think like, that had anything to do with the businessman or you just like genuinely just weren't vibing with anybody? I think I just wasn't vibing with anyone. I didn't, but maybe, you know, like, I'm not going to like pretend I'm not possibly biased or whatever. Um, Because like he was, like I was texting him and all up until the point of like going out and like still talking to him. Right. I I hope he's still dating like other people. Like I hope he's keeping his options open and I hope I'm always like considered an option in his book until like yeah. we could actually spend more time together but like right now we are states away and I don't want him to feel like he has to wait for me until he's back in yeah. North Carolina yeah I hope he doesn't feel that way either I know but you <laughs> that's not fair <laughs> it's yeah. not fair to anybody no and <laughs> we have had some converse I should have mentioned this earlier but talking about it we did have one serious conversation about our age gap like we've had yeah. one serious conversation um because it, he brought up like I don't know it was like 1994 or something and he's like oh yeah you weren't even born yeah you're just a little baby and I was like yeah I am a little baby I'm like what do you, I asked him, I was like, what do you think about that? Like, what do you think about our age difference? Cause yeah. he's 14 years older than me. And he goes, I don't care. I don't have a problem with it. And he goes, but I knew that like with you asking about like, um, you being too young, like I also started thinking, does she think I'm too old for her? And he goes, so do you think I'm too old for you? And I said, no, I said, but I do think there could be some issues like if we decide to get serious and like actually talk about having a relationship with each other that has to do with our age and he's like okay like what and I was like like children like the the big one maybe you want to like get married and buy a home and yeah like that's just not in the cards well he has homes like he's he's sad and that's amazing and great for him um and all but like we do he's very very established in his career and I am not I'm a starving artist and those are things that we have to talk about and I'm like I don't want children until I'm in my 30s I don't want to be a young mom I want to have my life and I want to have my career but the good news is is he agreed (laughs) amazing (laughs) yeah he agreed completely he was like ding ding ding. yeah for him He was like, I've always thought of having kids way later in life. He's like, I could see myself being 45 and starting a family. And I'm like, okay. (laughs) Great. (laughs) And I told my mom that today that we had that conversation. And she's like, what's wrong with him? (laughs) His Android. (laughs) We figured it out. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever like seriously thought about dating someone like seriously dating someone older, like a lot older? No. Like more than 10 the years. The question, older? have I ever seriously thought about dating someone? <laughs> My brain ended there. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, kind of. When I meet, I think this is the opposite of us. When I meet someone in the first 30 seconds, I have imagined my whole future with them. And if they're the love of my. Mm. Oh, 
Are you there? <laughs> I, I wasn't, but I'm back now. <laughs> okay. My internet You're connection on. is unstable. Blame it on the hotel, everybody. It is the hotel. Um, but I did hear what you said when you immediately meet somebody, you like envision your yes. future together. I, <laughs> yeah, I could not be more different. <laughs> uh, I only approach people that I would go home and like sleep with once and that's about it that's probably all they're gonna get from me and I will probably not talk to them again that is and so funny. yeah but you know what that is what that's what I do and it's okay See- no, my problem is, is I'm constantly every day thinking today's the day I can meet the love of my life and you're today's the day I can get a good way. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I think I, I will say change my perspective. Uh, thing who I brought up in previous episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would consider <laughs> actually going out with her. But you that, that sounds, is true. That you sounds have. so bad. I would like I am genuinely like interested in her and I do want to yeah you like um explore that relationship in more than yeah. yeah hook up for one night. So have you I'm up? not that horrible. <laughs> have you hooked up? No, no. Uh-huh. no. <laughs> I met I met in like a more than like I'm I'm oh, not just gotcha. into her because I want to do that. Yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing that, that you're that way and I'm this way. Like, I wish I was more open and free <laughs> instead of, like, thinking you're the love of my life as soon as I meet you. Right. <laughs> that could get you. It does get you. Trust me. <laughs> I know. I want to know, um, everybody who's listening, <laughs> you need to tell us how you feel in this situation. Do you fall in love with everybody like Liz? <laughs> are you just here for a good time I mean I don't know why like any of my friends ever get worried about me like when I start talking about a new guy because I literally talk about a new guy like every week yeah <laughs> I think it's so fun I'm just- <laughs> it is that's, what, that's what's so fun about falling in love with many people <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> sure. um, um speaking of falling in love with people someone who I was in love with like a long time ago not my ex my ex ex from high school okay one of his friends is in my dms from high school he is it cute Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) mm-hmm yep you know how he's maybe A a little bit I I want people with drive and passion and stuff, you know, with their life. Yeah. And I don't know if he has like the drive and passion right now. He's a year younger than me. Mm-hmm. He was a junior when I was a senior in high school. And so I just don't know if he's like maturely the same as I am right now. Yeah. Like I've been sense. out of, I've been out of college for a couple of years. I've, kind of figured out who I am a little bit don't always know what I want I don't know if he's the same (laughs) we'll see but it'll be it'll be fun to see what happens yeah yeah I think so too keep us updated I will (laughs) (laughs) I am gonna have to go though to see if my person yes go make that call um I'll be here rooting for it. (laughs) I will. I also just got a message that I don't have to work tomorrow. I have a day off. Oh. Isn't that so nice? (laughs) That's so exciting for you. What are you going to (laughs) do? I'm going to (laughs) sleep. And also tomorrow's Latin night at this club, even though it's on a Tuesday. So I go Latin dancing. (laughs) You absolutely should. If I could go Latin (laughs) dancing tomorrow night, I literally would do that (laughs) oh I was actually saying I forgot who I was saying it to probably someone at work about like how much I miss you because oh I did this about like going out Saturday okay I'm gonna tell you this little story this is why I told them this I was like I miss my best friend so much because she'd always match my energy she didn't pull it away 
So we were in the Uber on the way back home from the bars on a Saturday and we were at a red light. And what do we do when we're at a red light? We talk to, <laughs> we talk to the boys that are in the car sex. We, we roll down our windows. Yes. 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 Yeah. Take advantage of every opportunity. <laughs> yeah. There was a car next to me. I was in the back seat of the Uber full of cute boys leaving the bars too. So I roll down my window and I go, hey. And the boys are going, hey. Yeah. And then one guy starts leaning out the window. So I'm leaning out the window. We're like high fiving in the middle of the street in the city. Amazing. Yeah. And my friends are like, Liz, what are you doing? And I'm he's like, what's your name? And I go, oh, I was with Lappy. And the Uber driver goes, you better get back in the car, Liz Lappy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? That's great. That's so fun though. That's I know. Freaking awesome. And I was like, I missed my best friend because she would do the same thing with me. <laughs> I would have stuck my head out the other window. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, I need this like chaotic energy always <laughs> around. Yeah. That's how well we thrive. I know by chaos. I do really think we thrive by chaos, Victoria. Yeah, together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you do it, but you bring out like chaotic energy in me. <laughs> I I feel like I'm not a very chaotic person. I keep really like, very like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then when I'm with you, I'm like. <laughs> 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 That's actually so funny that we bring out the worst in each other, <laughs> but it makes the best memories. <laughs> it does. And you know what? People love us. <laughs> People and do. I'm sorry about it. I'm so- <laughs> actually not sorry about it. Are you really? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my well, I... Um, on that gonna, note, um, people I'm gonna go. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of people, deal. yeah, people love us and need me to call them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, like, rate, review, subscribe. <laughs> I'm Victoria. I'm Elizabeth. Like the like queens. The queens. <laughs>